Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video, we have the LaFont M200 robotic vacuum. So this is a compact robotic vacuum that is a small size, so it's able to get under and around your furniture with no issues. It also has a strong suction that is perfect for vacuuming up pet hair and things like that on hardwood floors and also thin carpets. Let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. All right, so it comes in a nice cardboard box and I like that because you can recycle it. And while I'm getting this open, I just want to thank LaFont for sending me this vacuum to test. Thank you very much. In this video, we'll start out with a very quick unboxing of the M200, and then I'll go through several different tests with it vacuuming around my house, and we'll see how well it does. All right, so just slide it out. And then it looks like we have the vacuum on top right here. This is a very small vacuum, much smaller than the vacuums I currently have. Set that to the side real quick. Looks like we have some brushes right here, and these are used to sweep items into the vacuum as it drives around. Looks like a filter, this might be an extra one. The base station for charging, and it will automatically find the base station. And then we have the wall adapter for powering the base station. That's gonna be it in the box. So we'll start out by taking a look at the base station. It does have a nice look to it. So with this right here, you plug it in and then you just put this in an area of your home where it's kind of clear around it so that the vacuum can find it and then just drive up and charge itself. I think it looks pretty good. I like that it has the brush and also the debris cutter so that you can clean out the vacuum and also attach it to this so you never lose it. Nice touch. Go ahead and get the vacuum out of the bag. This is actually a very small vacuum at only around 11 inches across and then it sits about three inches tall. So if you have any furniture that is a little bit higher than that, this will be able to get under that, get all the dust under your furniture, and really help with the air quality in your home. Looking at the top, it has a really nice modern design to it. Nice LaFont logo, I think that looks really good. And then you have a power button right here which is also chrome, so that looks cool as well. In the back side here, we have the on and off power switch. I really like that. I currently have a vacuum that I got a couple years ago. It does not have that power switch, so if you lose the remote, there is no way to turn it on and off, which has been a problem. I find on trips, I just have to flip it over so that it doesn't automatically turn on. Also in the back, you have some vents for the actual vacuum air to go through a filter. So we open it up right here. And then this is where you can take out the container that holds all the dirt that the vacuum picks up. And I like that that is see-through, so you can see how full it is by just popping this little top area open. And then you would just open this up and pour everything out. As you can see, this already has a filter in it, so you do get an extra filter, which is a nice touch. And the filter has a screen over it, so it shouldn't get broken or damaged by any large items hitting it when they're in this container. So as you can see, there is a hole at the bottom. I'm a little worried about the size of this. It's only about two inches wide. So that's a very small area for it to actually clean anything up. We'll see how well this does with vacuuming. Go ahead and put this back together. Very easy to do. Looking at the bottom of the LaFont M200, you can see the wheels have very nice grips on them, very nice suspension as well, so it can go over different thresholds and different size carpet in your house and it won't get stuck very easily. You do have a wheel at the front and this just helps the M200 turn when it needs to and then you have the connectors where the base station will connect so it will drive up onto the base station and charge itself. Very cool. As you can see right here, this has one spinning area for a brush to go, and then this will spin debris into the little vacuum. Now to put it on, all I need to do is line up this square with the square of the holder, and it will snap right in like that. And then this will spin to kind of push things into the vacuum. On the bottom, there's also a little bit of power information, so you can see that. So looking at the front of the M200, we have a nice rubber guard that goes around basically the entire front of the device. And then you have three sensors. So we have one sensor in the front, and then each side at around three o'clock, if you're looking at this like a clock, have a sensor. So that if it were to run into furniture or maybe a person or pet, it would sense that. Now there are some very large areas where there is no sensor, so it'll be interesting to see how this vacuum deals with that kind of large blind spot when maneuvering around furniture and different items. All right, so now that we've taken a closer look at the LaFont M200, and we've also gotten the brush installed, I'll go ahead and get it charged, and then we'll see how it works. 
All right, so I currently have the LaFont M200 plugged in and it's in its base station right here charging. It's been charging overnight, so it should be ready to go. I've been using it in this location next to a couch for a couple weeks now and it hasn't had any issues being this close to the couch, finding the base station once it was ready to recharge after running for about an hour and a half. So let's go over how to actually use the M200. It basically has one button at the top and this is used to turn it on, pause it or turn it off, and then also send it back to the charging station. There is no way to control this with an app and there was no remote included in the box, but I find it very easy to use this button and also see the status of it by the LED on the top of it. It's really easy to see that. So I'll go ahead and press the button and it'll start vacuuming. So I just press it once. And then you can see that it started vacuuming. As you can see here, the vacuum will fit under the couch. And it does a good job of vacuuming up all the dust under the couch, which is really cool. So now, if I hit the button on the top of the vacuum, once, it'll pause it, and it just kind of sits there for as long as I let it sit there. If I hit the button twice, the LED turns purple, and it'll start moving around without the vacuum running, and it's looking for the charging station now. And I found that it does a pretty good job of finding it. It might take it a little bit of time, but it'll kind of go around the house and search for it. And as you can see, it'll sense the base station. And then it very slowly will go towards it and eventually charge. And I don't know if you can see that, but it currently has a purple light on top. And once it gets into the charging station, the purple light will blink. So now it's blue and it's blinking. If you have stairs in your house, you can actually use this device. It will not fall down the stairs. It can sense the drop off and it'll stop before it gets too far. So I'll go ahead and start it. So you can see it'll go towards the stairs and then it stops right at the edge. One other thing, if you pick up the vacuum, it will stop automatically from vacuuming, so you don't have to worry about the battery wasting or the wheel spinning and maybe hurting your fingers. It stops automatically once it senses that it's been picked up. And then when you put it back down, it doesn't do anything. It'll stop until you hit the button to start it back up. So we'll see how it does on this threshold right here. And while it was able to get over it, it seems to have sensed that it was a barrier, so it turned around at it. But now as you can see, that brush is going under the baseboard, getting all the dust up, and sweeping it into the vacuum. It does a very good job of doing that. So let's see how it does with this threshold. It goes right over that. One of the things I've been very happy with with the M200 is its ability to clean under very tight furniture. So as you can see right here, this is kind of an older style table and it can actually get under the legs and clean out under them and the brush will get to all the spots the vacuum can't get to. So I'll go ahead and start it up. So it went under the table right there. Very cool. It's cleaning under the legs. One interesting thing i found is it can even make it over thresholds like this that you might have to an outdoor room, something like that. So you have to keep an eye on it. It won't happen every time, it'll get stuck sometimes, but if it has a straight path going for it, it can get over and get into a different area of your house that maybe you didn't want it to be or maybe you wanted it to be. All right, so I wanna talk about the bottom of the vacuum here. One thing I've noticed is because this is only a suction, it doesn't have a brush, it's much easier to clean and empty. In the brush here, it doesn't get a lot stuck in it because it's only three different brushes. I have noticed that they do break easily. This one already is broken, as you can see right there. But it still does a good job when it's spinning, the brush goes out far enough that it will grab dust and push it into the vacuum. So really not a lot of maintenance you have to do with this on a daily basis. All you would have to do is empty the dustpan right here by just pulling it up 
I don't know if you could see inside there, there's some dirt. And then you just open it up and you have all your dirt in there ready to go. Very easy to empty. I don't even find that I need to clean the filter or anything. I simply just open it up, empty it in the trash can and put it back in and it's good to go. So those were some demonstration videos of the LaFont M200. Overall, very, very impressed with this device. And in my opinion, it works great. Through the testing, I found that the M200 will run for about an hour and a half before it starts looking for the charging station to recharge. And from what I've found, it's enough time for it to cover an entire floor of my house, going through a living room, dining room, and large kitchen with a sitting area. So I was able to get through that entire space in an hour and a half, and the house really looked better. There was almost no dust on the ground, and it picked up all the little debris. Now, like I said, this does not have a brush on the bottom. It just has a very small suction area. It may, it will pick up some larger items, maybe a spare piece of dog food, things like that. But if you have much larger items that are a little too heavy for it, it will just leave those behind. But when it comes to things such as hair or dust, it does a great job of picking that up on a wood floor or a very thin carpet. Now, one limitation of this, because it is just a suction vacuum and does not have a brush, if you have a normal or thick carpet, this will not do a good job. It'll still be able to drive around, but it's just not gonna clean as well as it would on a wood floor or on a thin carpet. Now, it does only have one single brush here that kind of sweeps into the vacuum, but I found it does a good job. It'll do kind of a perimeter where it goes along the house, but it does it on the brush side. So it'll pick up all the little pieces of dirt and dust that are stuck in the crack of the wall right there and shove it into the vacuum. And then the vacuum picks it up. I've ran this thing several times in a day and it's amazing to me how much it picks up over and over where it's just little pieces of dust sitting around your house that maybe you would have missed and not clean, but it picks them up, cleans them for you, and then they're no longer in your lungs. Now, when it comes to actually using this device, very easy, one button where you can pause it and start it up and then also send it back to its charging station. It also has an LED light that changes color based on what it's doing. So I find it really easy to use. It also has a power button in the back, which is great for just turning it off if you're not gonna be using it for a while. So it doesn't accidentally turn on if the button is hit. The sound of this robotic vacuum is a little bit louder than other robotic vacuums I've had in the past. I don't think that that's a problem. You can run it during the day. It does also make a little bit of noise when it runs into different pieces of furniture just because it only has three sensors on the front so it will hit things right here and maybe the wheels make a little bit of noise but overall for it to vacuum your entire house without having to do anything I don't think that it's loud enough for me not to want to use it. Now like I said this does run into some devices it does have a rubber guard on the front and I haven't found that it has caused any blemishes or destroyed any of my furniture or flooring. The wood flooring has no scratches and the furniture while some of it even being older or antique does not show any scratches from this device. I think this rubber guard does a good job of protecting the furniture and also the robotic vacuum. Overall, the Font M200 is definitely a buy and I would highly recommend it. All right, so that was a review and demonstration of the LaFont M200 robotic vacuum. If you have any questions about this device, leave a comment below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm going to add an Amazon affiliate link to the description below so you can find this exact vacuum on Amazon. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.